This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this. Good, Good morning, morning Ephrata. My name is Kenzie. And I'm Mary. And today is Thursday, April 11th, 2024. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Tomorrow, our GSA is once again taking part in Day of Silence, a day dedicated to raising awareness about the silencing effects of bullying and harassment on LGBTQ plus students. To participate, students choose to take a vow of silence and wear name tags that say, Hello, my name is Silence. Still want to show your support without saying silent? Then you can wear a pride sticker, a pin, or a name tag that says, Hello, my name is Ally. If you are interested in participating, come to the Media Center this Friday before first period where you can receive your choice of name tag or pride sticker. <laughs> <laughs> if you are interested in running for to be a representative for student council for 2024-2025 school year, stop by room 137, Mr. Marzok's room, to pick up a petition ASAP. You need 30 signatures by students in your own grade, only, and we only take the top six from each grade to be members of student council each year. Additionally, you need a teacher recommendation form emailed to Mr. Marzok directly. Everything is due by April 16th, 2024. No exceptions. If you have any questions, please stop down room 137 anytime. This announcement is for any student who is interested in learning more about the U.S. Service Academies. Mm -hmm. You are invited to attend Service Academy Night, which will be hosted by Congressman Lloyd Smucker on Monday, April 29th, 2024 at Pan Menor High School from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Academy Night will include information about the difference between attending an academy and ROTC, the value of attending a summer program at an academy, the ideal candidate for an academy, determining the difference between a nomination and an appointment. You'll also be able to check out options available through the U.S. Service Academy's West Point Naval Air Force, Air, 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 Air Force Merchant Marine and Coast Guard and ROTC programs. Each of the service academies offers an incredible free college education worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. For more details, check your Schoology class group. It is especially important to start this process early. Freshmen and sophomores should attend if they have any interest in one of these post-secondary options. Seniors, if you applied or are in the process of applying for the Ephrata National Bank Hipschman Scholarship, please sign up for a time slot for an interview. Students who do not complete all portions of the application and interview process will not be considered for the scholarship. Interviews will be approximately five to six minutes in length and will take place in the district board room office. Please arrive 10 minutes early for your scheduled interview. Be sure to dress professionally, speak clearly and confidently, and arrive early. Let Ms. Bridgen know if you have any questions. Best of luck. And now over to Ethan with the news. Magic orb. Skadoosh. National Pet Day is April 11th, although if you're a pet owner, you know that there's not a day that goes by that you don't celebrate your animal companion. So hug your hedgehog, bond with your brick, or cut your kitty some catnip. The critter that makes you happy, and that's not all. Over the past 10 years, the National Institutes of Health has been a partner in research to determine that the physical and mental benefits of having a pet. It turns out that not only can pets steal our hearts, but they can also contribute to our overall cardiovascular health by lowering cortisol, cholesterol, and blood pressure levels. Now back to the main desk. Attention newspaper staff, please use the link on SchoolG to sign up for issue 4 articles. If you have questions or want to pitch a different article idea, please check with your editor or one of the editors in chief. We will resume our normal schedule with the next meeting on April 24th. Prom is here! 
Pepperdine High School prom will be on Saturday, May 11th in the Double Tree in Reading. At the Double Tree in Reading, sorry. Tickets will be on sale in the eLab room 215 starting the second week of April. So get your table of eight together. Tickets will cost $65 and can be paid with cash or check made out to EASD with the student's name in the memo line. Tickets will be available for students after school from 3.15 to 4.15 on Friday, April 12th, Tuesday, April 16th, and Friday, April 19th, as well as on Thursday, April 18th in the morning from 7.10 to 7.40. It is strongly recommended that you have everyone in, the t in your table of eight purchase your their tickets at the same time. All EHS students attending the prom must be present at the time of ticket purchase. All obligations, both money and time, must be paid before purchasing a prom ticket. Additional information about prom and guest forms can be picked up in Ms. Petrie's room 200 or in the main office. Please bring your payment and a form of student ID or license to purchase tickets. See you at the prom. Also, the activities bus will not be running today. Now over to a special segment with MTS, lunch, and sports with Regan. Have you ever wanted technology help from your friends? Have you ever wanted to build a computer, but you don't know where to start? Well, do we have a solution for you? And introducing MTS Plus. We are happy to officially announce MTS Plus. MTS Plus is an extension of the current MTS, but we now offer a wide range of new services. If you want general computer tips for your school laptop or personal devices, we're here to help. If you need help with file transfer, file conversion, or file organization, we can help with that too. We now also offer custom vinyl printing and 3D printing so you can make your dreams a reality. If you want help with photo or video editing, we know a guy. It's us. We're the guy. We're also offering new enhanced technology support for new students new to technology or new students just new to our school district. We know it can be difficult at times, so we're just going to do our best to help you guys get up and running as soon as possible. We can't wait for you to see all the new features we have at Mount Tech Plus. If you would like to sign up for a time slot, make sure to scan the QR codes around the school and sign up for your time slot and your reason. We hope to see you soon. Hey guys, today for lunch we have cheesesteak with roll, crispy chicken sandwich, primo pizza, Italian hoagie, taco salad, uh, fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin, tossed salad, <coughs> french fries, fresh broccoli and cucumbers, dip, chilled pears, fresh fruit, and 100% juice or slushy. Tuesday, boys lacrosse won 9-8 versus CV. The girls won 19-3 at CV. Softball won 4-2 at LS. Ta tennis lost at Cedar Crest. Volleyball lost 3-2 at Lancaster Mennonite. Yesterday, baseball won 16-1 versus Solanco. Softball won 3-2 at Solanco. And tennis won 7-0 at Garden Spot. Today, boys lacrosse is at Penn Manor. Tennis is at Eastern Lebanon. And volleyball is home versus Cacalico. Now back to the main desk. Today is Act 3. Have, Have a therapeutic, therapeutic Thursday, Thursday Ephrata. Woo!